Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. Well, a lot of people think it's the most significant title in combat sports. No argument from me. Baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion. There he is in the flesh. What an absolute monster. What a title reign it has been. But a serious challenge in front of him here tonight. When this man became the heavyweight champion, a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So more than 15 years, the gap in age between these two fighters with some differences in height and a similar reach. Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, a referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the O2 Arena in London, England. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding special record of 20 wins, four losses, and one draw. He stands five feet, one inch tall, weighing in at 170 pounds, fighting at a Mechacala, Russia, presenting the challenger, Amari Lekek Akhmedov. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a judo fighter. Making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet four inches tall, weighing in at 185 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Bruce. It's time. Papa! All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it Ready. Ready to fight. Round one is upon us between two of the best fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a glaring weakness on either side when you break down the field. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, they both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Oh, and he connects with a punch there, DC. You gotta like what you're seeing thus far. I mean, the speed at which he throws is crazy. Notice the drive. Look at how they drive the knee right into the midsection. Big knee lands there. Single collar tie now.
stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. And they separate. Nice. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Another shot lands upstairs. Nice thing with the right hand. These guys throwing early. Strong defense there to block the shot. That's a big hook. Ah, oh, that jab hurt him. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking realm early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. That's a big strike right there. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, collar tie. Beautiful kick. Checks the leg kick. Real nice body kick land. Nice stick with the right hand. And a miss with the right hook. Oh, pretty good technique as he lands the side kick, DC. Real nice technique to land that side kick. He did a great job of getting that leg up and then right through the target. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, being active, keeping busy, doing great work. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Real sneaky body kick. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Buffer gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Right, closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, nasty elbows now, DC. Hard to see if a cut's been opened up, but gotta think at some point there's gonna be some blood. You gotta be so close to fight and throw this many elbows back to back. Great job. Right hand punch for clinch. Strong hook lands. Oh, both. Both landed. Punch is blocked. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Nice kick there by Buffett. Left hand punch the clinch. And he landed the right hand there. Ooh, head kick lands was hurt. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice body kick right on the elbow. Oh, nice. massive knee to the head. Oh, and he connects with the... Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Osmanov goes for the clinch here. Looks like he's trying to recover. He was stunned a little bit earlier. Let's see if he can get a respite here. Oh, straight right. Needs a big knee. Good series of punches by him there. He has been busy throughout. He's doing a great job with the hands. He looks like a professional boxer out there. Yeah, left hook found its target. Oh, oh, nice pop there from the crowd as he finally gets the takedown. He stayed committed to the offensive wrestling, and now he has his opponent. A sigh of relief from the people watching because they were tired of watching him flail around trying to get takedowns and get defended over and over again. Finally gets it. Now what does he do with the top of the floor? All right, well, he's got him softened up here. Warm sound for the end of round one. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. All right, some highlights for you now on that previous round, DC. Those body kicks were so good, I kind of felt like I got the wind knocked out of me from one. I have been on the receiving end on some nasty body kick, right? And all you want to do is start to carry your hands lower. Problem with that is the kicks start to look like they're going to go high. He's got to make an adjustment, change something, or this fight is going to continue to go down the same path. And he connects there, DC. Great job. Oh! Get him. Oh. Starting to do 
do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Switching stances here. Akhmedov gets caught. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. That landed. Oh! We got a fight, folks. Back to the feet now. Buffer gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Oh, he's got that right hand going tonight, DC. Connected with it there. He's thrown so many left jabs to throw that right punch straight down the pipe. It's unreal. He's back in the clinch position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head from the clinch. Nice stick with the right hand. All right, so he lands another punch there, and he smells blood in the water going right back at that cut. Absolutely. The opponent has a lot of scar tissue around the eyes. He was able to cut it open. Wow, actually got the takedown. Oh, wow, oh! It's in there deep, there you go. Not tapping out tonight. All right, side control now, DC. When you get side control in the fight, what are you looking for? When I get to the side control of the fight, and I believe this young man should do the same thing, it's secure first. Grab everything in tight. Oh, you got to watch him attack his submissions. He throws the legs up to try to get a triangle choke here. Right into side control here, DC. Biggest difference between half guard and side control. Well, side control to me feels like a little bit less control because now my legs aren't really doing anything anymore. Now I'm controlling you with my upper body. So I've got to be very, very aware. It's still advantageous, but it just seems a little more free-flowing than having something like a half guard. Under two minutes now to go in round two. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Buffer's got the full mount. All right, side control now. We'll see if he can advance position. All right, well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Now maybe trying to get to a choke position here, DC. Working inside the closed guard now. This is no safe place against this opponent. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Akhmedov. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Akhmedov. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, man, this ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Let's go! Get him off! Get him off! Oh, it looks like he's transitioning to an armbar. You cannot stay in the guard of these great jujitsu guys. He's going to attack armbar here. You gotta recognize that when a guy starts to put his feet on your hips, you gotta move him off and you gotta cover. You can't be off to an angle. of this young fighter. You could tell he was looking for that submission much earlier in the round, but he didn't want to rush it. He stayed patient, 
let the setup do its thing, and ultimately the submission materializes organically late in the round. High level stuff out of that young fighter here tonight. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He does a great job of staying patient. He doesn't rush or panic. You are never safe when you're fighting this guy. You're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble the entire time when you're this good in the submission. So there he is, the baddest man on the planet, UFC heavyweight champion of the world, a title that every heavyweight wants. He has it after the win by submission here tonight. He leaned on the grappling, and he got the job done in a big way. Ladies and gentlemen, the referee has called a stop to this contest, declaring the winner by tap out, Bruce Hitchcock! And still the baddest man on the planet, and now with another highlight for the real, the heavyweight champion submits the number one contender here tonight and now celebrates with his corner after just a monumental performance here tonight. I'm not sure we've ever seen him perform more cleanly or more efficiently than he did here tonight.